Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today we are listening to Shebnam Farah live. So many of you recommended her 2007 Istanbul concert, so that is what this clip is from. I am not going to pronounce the name of the song for fear of ruining it, but I did pull up some English lyrics for reference, so let's do it. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna get into this again. That got really exciting. Um, I love hearing crowds sing. I just think it's so thrilling and so like exciting that they are just so passionate about an artist's music. Um, let me go back. I just, I love how she goes back and forth between registers. She started actually in head voice. Let me see if I can find that. such a gorgeous sound. It's a little breathy, head voice strictly, no mix. Um, and then she immediately like flips into like a full belt. <laughs> Like, mm, that's so warm. So she's allowing a little bit of that breathiness as well, but a lot of gorgeous like nasal resonances being incorporated there with those low notes. And it's just making them so full and so lush. Okay. <laughs> section again and there was a note that was like such a cool mix so we're going back that i love that the other thing i love in watching her is just how she doesn't hyperextend like her jaw. She just creates the space she needs, lifts the soft palate, you know, lots of open pharyngeal space. And she really is not like pulling her jaw out of alignment to like create these big notes. It's just, 
it's very powerful and very impactful and especially seeing that she doesn't have to do much to create it is so beautiful. love her voice so much. Her tone is so full. We all know that. So powerful. Um, even when she goes up higher and she has to be in mixed voice to hit those higher notes, she still brings a lot of like thickness in her chords with like there's just a lot of, I don't even know, it's just so full. Like she brings a lot of weight into that sound so that it's just, yeah, it's I don't know. It's very captivating. I obviously am a big fan. Um, and then I do also appreciate the moments when she's popping back into head voice. It's just such a healthy way to like keep your voice going, to maintain stamina. If you're going like 100% in chest voice all the time, you're going to get tired. Vice versa, if you're in head voice 100% all the time, you're not flexing those chest muscles. And so when you're trying to go back, it's really difficult, but she does a great job of like balancing her usage of her laryngeal muscles and alternating between them. And I think it's so brilliant. <laughs> this is such a cool song. Like it has so many different distinct sections. that again. Um, I didn't see the chorus behind the orchestra, so that was a nice fun surprise. Her mix when she was just singing right there, oh, that is so well balanced because again, so full, like so full, so lush, but obviously when you're singing those higher notes, to get a little bit more of like that thrill and that edge that we like in those tones, you have to put a little bit more forward placement, a little bit more nasal resonance, um, just so that it sounds thrilling. So it has that ping to it. Otherwise, if I, I'm sure you've heard singers before when they go up into like a higher place in their voice, if they just keep the same tone as they would in like a normal chest range, 
it's just not as thrilling. And so when you change your placement a little bit, it creates those gorgeous, like brilliant notes that are still like, that it doesn't have to be harder. It's just, you're making it sound a little bit more thrilling. And I love that. I just love that. Like scream was so cool. Um, let me go. Let me go back. thousand times yes you guys were right seeing her live is a completely different experience I had no idea that she had so much texture in her voice I don't feel like I heard quite this much the first time I heard her so it was very thrilling to hear um, her range is stunning I love Again, the power in her voice. I love that she uses head voice. I love that she isn't afraid to like incorporate fry and like really cool nuances um, and very, very cool textures um, throughout, but she does it so carefully. She does it so skillfully and well-planned so that Obviously, when you've got such an intense, high energy concert, like you need to save your voice throughout. And so you can hear how there are moments where she like brings her entire chords together and has full adduction and then other moments where she plays around a little bit with breathiness, um, with 
pressure and tension so that the, we get a lot of variety and she maintains her vocal health. And I just think it's brilliant. So yes, uh, thank you guys so much for this recommendation. Thank you for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.